So, given uh, what a lot of people predict where you're going, why, why visit the Wizards at number three? Um, I think it's, you know, um, it's a possibility. I mean, Wizards is a great organization. And, I mean, I, I didn't mind coming here. So, I mean, anything could happen. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. How are you feeling uh, physically? How is the, uh, the rehab coming? I'm feeling great. Um, it's really coming along. Um, two of days really paying off. And um, I, I really, I'm really starting to feel good. And, um, I'm starting to do some court work, defensive slides, um, a lot of form shooting. Is it, is it still a target date? Is just, Do you have a target date to when you can, you know, when you'd be able to return to the court? Or is that still too far away at this point? I uh, just definitely look back, looking back to um, getting around November, December. I mean, that's definitely a target date. But, I mean, I'm definitely just going to be careful and, you know, listen to my physical therapist and Kevin Wilk and Dr. Andrews. What do you know about the Wizards, about, you know, specifically the players, the team, the franchise? What are you aware of? Uh, I know about the Wizards. I know they got a great uh, backcourt. Um, I played against Bradley Bill a few times you know, on the AU circuit. Um, obviously, I watched John Wall um, against like Kentucky. Um, uh, they got uh, uh, Mega Over 4. So that's a good front court as well. Uh, so, I mean, they're up tempo team. I like to get up and down and re real solid defensively. What do you think changed in your game from your senior high school to with the one year you spent at, at Kentucky? What do you, how do you think your game changed over that year? I mean, you just definitely being more confident. I mean, just definitely working out hard um, with Coach Kyle and Coach Payne and the whole coaching staff. I mean, really pushes you and um, it builds a good confidence and swagger. And um, I, I, de I definitely think that's one of the things that um, came along in my game. I started to feel more comfortable in the offensive way. What was what did you do on this visit? Did you just meet with team? Per like, did you do any workout? Any sort of workouts from? Did they test your knee out at all? Uh, yeah, they, they took a look at my knee. I mean, told me everything was great. Um, had dinner uh, with um, some of the front office guys, and uh, yeah, not too much. What would it mean to you if you got if you were the number one pick in the draft and you got to you know go up on the stage? And what would that mean to you personally? It mean a lot to me. I mean, it's a dream come true to even I mean be in the discussion. So I mean to actually be put to um, number one. I mean, um, it'd be I'd be very blessed and fortunate, and um, definitely just have to get get right to work and really um, um, exceed the expectations. You, you mentioned anything can happen. Have you gotten any? You know, is it has it been maybe? Frustrating that you don't have sort of a better handle on where you're going to go yet? Oh, no. I mean, that, that, that's in um, whatever happens, happens. I mean, I'm just fortunate enough to be here in this position. So, I mean, I don't need to have a handle at this point. I mean, I'm just doing what I have to do to get back on the course with my rehab. And, I mean, just really um, taking it day by day. Now, when people talk about your game, and people often talk about the defense and the shot blocking. What parts of your game are people maybe underrating or, or not? aware of how you can uh, help contribute on the NBA level? Um, I might say passing. I mean, I definitely um, like to set up for my teammates, um, just really getting them open and I mean, really finding them, um, especially like I did in college. I mean, whenever a dunk team came, or, I mean, a, uh, someone cut to the basket, I was uh, always had my head on the swivel looking for them. So you, you said you wouldn't be able to run until, you're not going to do any running until November, December? So are you looking? I know I said I'm playing November. December. You're playing November, December. Yeah. I was just trying to clarify. What sort of stuff have you been doing? To, have you been doing anything cool to rehab the knee? Is it, you know? uh, I've been on the OTG, um, um, a lot of jogging, uh, jogging on the court, um, good hard defensive slides on the court. So I mean, I'm really coming along with that. Had you ever suffered like a major injury like that before? Um, I had a crack real quick um, sophomore year high school, but it, it wasn't it wasn't as serious as this when I was back playing in about a little over two months. Do you have any other uh, visits scheduled at this point? Um, I got Cleveland on the twentieth. And you have you visited with Orlando? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many more are you gonna? <clears throat> are you limiting yourself to a certain number of teams? Are you only going to a couple? Or um, Cleveland's the last one I have scheduled. I mean, I think it's a good thing. Um, I like it. I mean, I, I got one of my best friends growing up. Um, good luck. He's, he's, a, he's a great high school player as well. And I mean, um, I mean, it's special to me. I mean, growing up, I watched um, 
first person to go left, and I fly with the best. So I mean, <laughs> so I mean, it's something that means a lot to me. So I'm gonna keep it. John Wall joked in an interview at the end of the season that he would make you cut your hair. That, you know, if he became a wizard. Your thoughts on that? No. <laughs> 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 but that's cool. I mean, obviously he's joking, but I mean, this is kind of like my dad got there. Would you at least put the logo, shave that in the back of your head? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that's a possibility. I mean, obviously for the fans and stuff, but yeah, that's a possibility. Do you have a connection with John, you know, being both Kentucky guys? Had, had you, did you know him better than maybe the typical NBA player just because of that? Um, I mean, I, I, I met him one time way back on the AU circuit, but I mean, I, I've never really met him um, through Kentucky or anything, but I mean, I mean, we definitely have, you know, some, some similar things. I mean, playing at Kentucky on the first stop by, so I mean, Pretty much like family, you don't even know if you play at Kentucky. So, um, I mean, I think we, we, we'd have good things in common. I mean, playing at Kentucky. A lot's been made about uh, how much you weighed at the combine. How, how much? What were you at your heaviest at Kentucky this year? Um, all, all year I was around two fifteen, and now I just weighed myself, and I've been um, doing great with that. I weigh two eighteen now, so um, I mean, I've been I've been really eating well. And, Really on the good nutrition plan now, so I mean, I've gained 11 12 pounds since the combine. Obviously, you have to deal with the knee, but like in terms of playing the NBA, what would you like to be at? What do you think you can weigh at NBA and still be effective like you did? Um, by the time the season starts and I'm playing again, I'd have to say I'd want to be around 225, 230. Um, I think I could easily do that uh, four or five months from now. Um, so, I mean, just definitely take good commitment, dedication, just uh, consistent. Right. <coughs> How many calories a day are you eating right now? Oh, a lot. <laughs> uh, protein shakes, a couple uh, protein shake a day. Um, just definitely um, eating three, four times, three, four meals a day. I'm mean, just definitely staying on it. What do you think of the recruiting class coming into Kentucky this year? It's a national championship waiting to happen. I, just, <laughs> I mean, I was in that class, so I mean, I'm kind of mad. I, I, I ain't a part of that. So I mean, yeah, they got a great team, though. I mean. With Alex and Willie coming back, they got good leadership. I mean, Coach Calipari um, is really going to bring those guys under his wing. And, I mean, they, it's going to be some good expectations, but it's hard. I mean, we had expectations as well, but, I mean, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, you definitely got to put the work in. And those guys, I think, will be ready for that. Speaking of Kentucky, how does it prepare you for the NBA, you know, with what Coach Kyle has going on there? Seems every year, you know, you've got more new guys in Kentucky in the first round. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, so Coach Kyle's not, um, he's not new. He's not new with just having NBA players. And he, <clears throat> he really knows how to prepare you, not just um, on the court, but off the court as well, and really um, teaches you how to maintain things and just really be careful of certain things. So, I mean, Coach Kyle's definitely the ultimate teacher with um, preparing you for the NBA. And, I mean, I was definitely appreciative to have him. And, I mean, he definitely prepared me for this next level. I know you visited uh, the area when you took it uh, for your trip to for your trip to Georgetown, how familiar you otherwise are you with uh, DC? Oh uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. Yeah. Um, obviously, I've been here. I've been here that, that one time. Um, I came down with my mom, my little sister. I mean, we, we got a um, good um, tour of the city and the campus. So, I mean, DC has a um, great basketball surrounding. I mean, um, they love their basketball here, so it's definitely a great thing. And um, the beauty, the city is beautiful. So. You recently hired an agent. What, what what was that process like, and what did it take you so long? People were wondering. That. Um, yeah, I hired Andy, Andy Miller. Um, I mean, it took me a while because I was just really focusing on rehab. I mean, there was a lot of requests to um, get out here to meet him and um, do this and that. But, I mean, my main focus was really just focusing on rehab and really doing whatever I had to do to get on the court. So, I mean, that was really why um, I kind of um, didn't want to do too much because, I mean, rehab was the main focus. But, I mean, I finally came to a decision. I mean, I haven't um, worked in times to really meet them without having a um, sidetrack away from rehab, so. Is there something personally that people might not know about you? So personally? That people might not are unaware? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. If you come to DC, <laughs> you gotta listen to Wale. You know oh, that yeah, much. I listen to Wale now. All right, yeah, yeah. J. Cole? Uh, J. Cole, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there an NBA player that Sort of you've patented uh, your game after, or anybody that you kind of you know, think that you kind of play like? I have to say, Kevin Garnett. I mean, I was looked up to him growing up. I mean, especially through the intensity and passion he played with. <clears throat> you know, I mean, just definitely his work ethic and 
I mean, how much you really um, look to perfect his craft. And I mean, he saw basketball as a business first thing. And I mean, every day you see him come on the court and give it all, give his all. Are there any guys currently in the league that you talk, reached out to or they reached out to you to give you any advice or anything? Um, definitely some of the Kentucky guys, Anthony, um, uh, Mike Gilchrist. Um, I spoke to Roy Hibbert about, about it. Um, and you, you know, they've all <coughs> given me very good advice about it. And I mean, how much you really got to be prepared for the 82 game this season. So, I mean, um, they gave me great advice with it. And I mean, they definitely told me I got I to gotta be ready for the um, rigorous um, times of the season. What are your thoughts of the NBA Finals so far? Who are you rooting for? Oh, I'm not rooting for anybody. <laughs> I mean, I grew up a Celtics fan, so they went down, so uh, I wasn't. But I'm definitely paying attention. I mean, seeing how it goes. I mean, I'm learning. I mean, just watching these guys play. I mean, Duncan, um, Tony Park. I mean, they they re they're really playing well. Um, so it's a great series, two to two, two and two. I mean, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be this season. I thought it was gonna be a little lopsided, but I mean, it's a great series to watch.